Hello everybody, Joel here, back again with a year-end list. Now, today we'll be looking at one of my personal favorites, the top 50 songs of 2021. 2021 was, I think, we kind of expected it. We saw some great artists do some bad stuff, some bad artists do some decent stuff, and break out of the norm for once, so I think it, in a way it was pretty good for that. But um, anyway, uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. These are my personal top 50 songs of the year. These are always very difficult to do because there's always about 20 or 30 other songs that I have to eliminate from the last spot simply because I, I, I just can't put them there. And, and, and for those who are wondering, no, arranging the, the, top, the top songs aren't, isn't as difficult as choosing the last 10. And so for these last 10 songs, I'm going to speed run through clips of all of them. I, can't, I don't want to talk about it too much, otherwise this video will be long. So uh, I'm going to start off with number 50 and then end at 41. Rapping like school and dressing like man of P.I. She need a tip, trail, peg, but ugly. Lost in the world. They should take me, then may they break. Entering the top 10. And at number 10, we have Hot Wind Blows by Tyler the Creator featuring Lil Wayne. Have you ever watched Charlie Brown Halloween special? If you do, you'll recognize how influential the flutes are in that special. And the flutes really do play an important part here. Of course, Tyler does his normal flexing on this album with a fire reverse from Lil Wayne, one of his best in recent memory. It's really good. At number 9, I have Shit. 
by Magdalena Bay. Yes, I know. Magdalena Bay is obviously inspired by Grimes, but I mean, when they're this good, I mean, who can complain? This is such a good song, and Magdalena Bay, I have such high hopes for them in the future. They, they're already a special team. And number eight, I have Lost in the Wait by Deserta. No other song on this list really makes me feel a certain way than, than Deserta does, than Deserta's Lost in the Wait does. It has, it, in the first three minutes, it does its own thing. In the second half, it does another thing completely. It completely changes up the style. This is like electronic rock-ish music. I can't even describe it. This, if this is an experience. You just listen to it for yourself. I, 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 can't, I can't describe this song. I really can't. Number seven on my list is Pixie Dust by Netrum. Netrum had a pretty good team up this year. Uh, Phoenix with Halverson was a banger, but Pixie Dust is, this song is magical. It's, 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 it's all I, I gotta describe it. It's magical. Listen to it, and that, that, that's the, the adjective you're gonna use to describe it as well. Trust me. It, it, it's good. Okay, now we're coming at number six. It is an artist that ended up number 12, number 13 on my last year end list, and it is one of my favorite female pop artists, Jessie Ware with Pale Blue Light. You know what, Jessie Ware, she does the bangers and I love them, but it always seems that the, her best songs are the ballad songs, and keep making ballads, Jessie, they're very special, they really are. Coming in at number five is a song, the top six are really hard to do, but at number five I have Look at the Sky by Porter Robinson. Not just me, but a lot of people didn't feel the best. Look at the Sky is one of the best glimmers of hope. Such an optimistic and happy song, and a lot of people are obsessed with pessimistic music nowadays, and while they do have their place, it is really optimistic music that, that should be played more often, in my opinion. This is a special song, and it really, really gets you in the feels like not many other songs do. Okay, coming in at number four is Basement Mix by Grouper, uh, Liz Harris's uh, musical project Grouper. This song is... This is like if Billie Eilish was three times better than she already is. It, it is a folk, you, can, you, can't, you can't hear the lyrics at all, but that's on purpose, and I, I can't explain it. This this song is just, if, if you listen to it, if you, you have to listen to it a few times. You can't listen to it once and be like, oh man, this is boring. Listen to it a few times, you'll catch something new every single time. It is beautiful. Coming at number three is pop band Cannons with Bad Dream. Okay, I've mentioned some underrated artists like Jack Bodge and Lil Sims. Why is no one talking about Cannons? As a pop group, they've created some of the most catchiest 80s style pop I've heard in my life. The song is almost hypnotizing. That's that's how good this is. Please check out the new Cannons projects. They're very good. The runner up for my best song of the year is Come to Life by Kanye West. You know, this this song is with the with the multiple piano layering, the Tyler writing, the the absolutely gut-wrenching lyrics. This is a very special song and Kanye, he managed to get me in the feels uh, in a way that only select few artists can. This, this song is this song is very special and somehow it, it, it is one of my favorite songs ever. This is such a beautiful song. And my number one song of the year is Algorithm by Boston Manor. I, I sometimes feel like as a society we are so consumed by whatever grabs our attention and anything quick like TikTok, especially TikTok, that's what the song is really about. We just waste our lives just sucked into something that we can't get ourselves out of. Listen to these lyrics. I was by the wayside, never see the daylight. Do whatever they like, just wearing somebody else's clothes. As Boston Manor screeches over this incredibly infectious chorus of a rock magic. This is my favorite song of the year and probably of the decade so far. This is a masterpiece. This song is great. So, what are your top 50 songs of the year? I got a little emotional at the end. These are just some fantastic songs at the end. I would love to know your favorite songs of the year. Uh, next up is my top 20 albums of the year, but until then, I'm Joel. Peacing out.